Hey guys, this is SB, and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world, and first things first, we're going to add a new fish to the fish tank, as is always the case, so today we're going to be adding a green-white cob, we're going to have a little cob in the fish, oh, there you go, and uh, I'm so glad that I did fix all my uh, fish dying uh, issues, so uh, we're going to go and, uh, and go through here, right, let's have a look, Which uh, where should we put him, so, look at this, thriving with fish, absolute sea life everywhere, beautiful, right, anyway, let's go and put him here, the green-white cob, and there he goes. He looks very familiar to other fishes. Um, he's happy. Is he going to go up in the little uh, the little thing? There he goes. He's up at the top now. I think that's him. Is it? I, I, honestly, I've lost him already. I I, uh, I fell in the <laughs> fell in the fish tank. Not something you're supposed to do, but it, uh, it's just the way it happened. So let's try and uh, and get out of here now. Um, I do I do know that in the last episode I said, please can you send me names for the ravager because we're going to name him because uh, if you didn't watch the last episode we have a uh, we have corner ravager inside here. So there he is. Looking happy as Larry, should I go in? Hello, buddy. Are you all right? Hello? Look at that. I've, I've, I've tamed him. <laughs> the beast has been tamed. Look at this. Beautiful. Go on. Rise and shine. Oh, okay. He's no longer tamed. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't get too close. All right. I woke him up. You must have been asleep, were you? Right. <laughs> so, he's... um. Yeah, I was going to name him from a name in the comments. I haven't actually chosen a name just yet, so he's still just called Ravager. But I will uh, I will definitely have it done for next episode. I'm just still in the, the choosing process. Look at that. He's got rid of some of He's broken the sugar cane over there. Will he break that sugar cane? We'll find out sometime. He, he does seem to like breaking stuff, though, so that's why I did it. I, you know, I thought he'll enjoy breaking things, so that's, uh, that's the way I designed it. My goodness. What is going on around the back of here? We've got jumping lamp. Okay, I think that was just snow falling from the tree. I don't know why there was snow falling from the tree. Anyway, we've got jumping llamas. We've got creepers. Oh, there we go. We've got little particles coming off this tree. That's cool. Anyway, what what are you doing here? And, and what are you doing it? Pair of you. No, don't try to sell me anything. You're a wandering trader's llama, you aren't you? I'll tell you what, the, the wandering traders come. The, and the wandering traders disappear. The llamas never seem to disappear. I've noticed that, actually. <laughs> I always end up with just random llamas uh, wandering around my world. So, you know, I can live with it, though. I can live with it. All right. We have been scanned and we have been allowed through. Perfect. Oh, I, you know, I don't think I've fixed this uh, this security yet, have I? Nope, I've still got to fix this. <laughs> you know, I've got a few jobs to do, haven't I? Definitely uh, starting to mount up a little bit. I'll, I'll have them done for next episode, guys. I, I promise, okay? Good morning, Sean. How are you doing, buddy? It seems like you're just... Yeah, oh, hello. It's, yes, nice to see you. <laughs> oh, don't look away when he real. Oh, he realises it's me now. I don't know what it is I've done to upset Sean, but he just doesn't like me, does he? He just doesn't like me. Let's put you in a new pose. How about that? There we go. Have a sing. Okay, now then, we have got Miles the Moon. Good morning, buddy. The turtles seem to be swimming around. You know, for a long time, they didn't enjoy swimming around in there, but now they seem to be happy as Larry is swimming around in there. And good morning, Fred. How are you doing, Fred? So today's challenge is to bake a cake and then turn it into compost. Okay, I can do that. Bake a cake and then turn it into compost. Okay. So, uh, first things first, then, we're going to need to find a cake and bake it. So, I do believe we have... I, you know what? We might need more than one cake for this as well, actually, having, having to think about it. It might take a few cakes. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to need some... To, we'll go out and, and harvest it from, like, certain areas, okay? So, uh, we're going to need wheat, we're going to need eggs, we're going to need sugar and milk. So, let's start off. Let's, let's just get all this wheat, you know what? You know what would be useful for this? A ravager. Oh, it would be very handy. Just Look at him. He's itching to go and get at my crops, isn't he, poor cat? <laughs> I've done the most torturous thing ever of, like, putting him right by my crops, but just so he can't get to them, okay? Okay, so these manual uh, manual stuff. What I should do is um, go and do some planting in my redstone farm one, because I, I never seem to have any crops planted there now for some reason. So that's something I should probably do, but, you know, this is the next best thing, isn't it? So I'll just go ahead and uh, fill in all of this. Perfect. There we go. All right, a few extra seeds as well, but I don't know what I'll do with those. So we've got 55 wheat. That's more than enough. I will go back for sugar. In, in fact, I do have a farm for sugar, okay? Oh, my good. And if we need eggs, well, we've... We've got more, I forgot. <laughs> I'm holding wheat seeds, no wonder you're all excited. I said, go on, have some uh, have some of that. There you go, all right, baby chickens. That's, that's always a nice uh, a nice time, isn't it? Right, let's, what are you guys doing under it? Okay, laying eggs down there. I wonder if any chickens have actually laid any eggs in the actual coop, you know, that's, that's how a chicken coop's supposed to work. You're supposed to lay eggs inside of it. Let's have a look. Nope, look, not a single egg. None of them seem to actually like going in here. It's more like this is just in the way for them more than anything. Oh, well, all right, you, uh, you guys, oh, more eggs. I could just probably keep walking around in here and keep collecting eggs, couldn't I? Although we're not going to do that. Right, so we've got eggs. Uh, we're going to need sugar now, so let's go... Yeah, I'll go and harvest the sugar again. Why not? And it can grow back then. And then, yeah, just going to need milk. So it's probably going to make sense to craft it by the cows over there. I think that... Do we have a crafting table over there? We might need to make one, but... I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world. Just so then we can, you know, we can keep filling our buckets of milk back up. Because, 
you, you can't really get a lot of buckets of milk. Well, you can get a lot of milk, but to get a lot of buckets, it's quite a lot of hassle, isn't it? Or we could go to the dairy for that. That's not a bad idea. Should we go, go to the dairy? To be honest, I could have just gone to the cake factory to get the cake, but Fred specifically did say craft the, uh, the, the the cake. He didn't say, you know, well, he said bake the cakes. He didn't say go to the uh, the nearest cake supplier and nick theirs. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna live by that and uh, and do it that way. But let's have a little look. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the dairy and do it that way. It's probably gonna be uh, the best way to do it. I've got my electron have I know. So we're gonna have to be walking on foot today. Uh, you know, it, sometimes it's just one of those things you've got to do. You've got to get your uh, get your feet out and get walking. So <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna need a few cakes. I'm not sure how many. I'm gonna I'm gonna bake ten. And I definitely know with ten cakes I'll be able to make bone meal. I'm not sure if if you could do it with less or more, but. I think I think if I if I do that, then it's been a successful compost emission. It does seem like a waste of cake, doesn't it? You know, like some things you can be like, all right, well, you know, if you turn, I don't know, are you are you an escaped cow from the dairy? Uh, yeah, sometimes you know you can. T it might be, you know, <laughs> there isn't uh, there isn't as many cows in here as I thought there'd be. Right, let's have a look. We have got ourselves milk. Perfect. Now, have we got a crafting table in here? That's another good question. What kind of a dairy doesn't have a crafting table? There is one just down the uh, down the lane over here, so we'll go and do this. So we'll need to first craft some sugar. So let's go and uh, just make a load of that. I don't know how much sugar we're going to need. Okay, and then cakes. So, yeah, let's get a little bit more sugar then. Um, so we can make one cake. And then it's just a case of constantly refilling up these buckets, isn't it? So, one, two, three. <laughs> Actually, quite handy that you're in a, you're in a, you're a cow and out and about. Uh, so we'll go and do that one. Uh, oh, we <laughs> you know what? Crafting a lot of cakes takes a lot of effort. Where are you going? Can you just, like, not be awkward? You know, you follow me. That's it. Come on. This, now, this is how you lure them in, I say. There we go. That'll keep them. All right. Back at it again. That's it. Oh, you want to wander away, do you? Okay, he's ignoring me this time. Never mind. Uh, so, we're going to get another cake. All right. Oh, he's back again. There we go. Oh, one more. There you go. Right. Okay. Baking cakes with SP. I just need to make some compost, okay? I'll give you the wheat at the end, okay? I promise. All right. Just just keep uh, keep around. There we go. All right. I think it's, there must be an easier way to make cakes. Maybe if I had more buckets, it'd be quicker, wouldn't it? But... I mean, I suppose cakes are a pretty uh, premium thing to eat, aren't they, though? So we're going to do that. There we go. Um, ten cakes. All right. You've done your hard work. There you go, buddy. Uh, I, I could go... You know, I'll go and drop these off at the Caker Baker. How about that? Because they're always, you you know, needing new ingredients and stuff. So I'll go and do that. I have just nicked the buckets from the dairy. They're probably using them, but you know what? It's too late now, okay? <laughs> I've got a sheep following me now. Oh, my goodness. I can't escape, can I? Is he, is he still after me? No, he's, he's realised. I'll go and take those out of my hand. Probably best, okay? So now we need to go and turn these into compost as well, these cakes. And we shall then get some bone meal from it. So that should be quite good, shouldn't it? Um, there's enough cows by the cake and baker. It's probably more. So we'll go and jump over the uh, the counter like you're not supposed to. What have we got? Look at that. Cakes galore in here, by the way. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you know what? The uh, supplies aren't looking too good, Alice. Let's top that up, okay? There we go. You'll be sorted for uh, for future times, even though you have no milk. Other than that, you're doing all right. Okay, right. We, we spent enough time baking and stuff. Now let's go and crack on with uh, the next order and uh, and get the compost made. Okay, it's a complicated uh, process, isn't it? Have I definitely got the cakes in my inventory? Yes, I have. Okay, perfect. Nothing can go wrong then, uh, according to my calculations. Anyway, you know what? I, you know how it is. I can always find a way to make things go wrong. Are you the jumping llama? Is it? Is it? Is a dancing? Oh, you are here, wandering trader. What, what are you offering? Uh, you know what? No deals for me, sir. No deals for me today, all right? But I appreciate you uh, making the effort to bring your business to my house, okay? Is, is, is there still a um, is there still a llama around the back of here? Is, is that one? Oh, that must have been the one that we saw then. Okay, so I have uh, compost things just over here, actually. In fact, if we grab... Hmm, this is an idea. An ingenious idea, if you ask me. We'll just go like that, okay? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go over here. And... Oh, okay, actually, these are full already, so that's not a problem. So what we'll do is we'll... Did I not get the bone meal for that? Okay, I don't know why. So we'll go and make this into compost. Oh, where's the bone meal going? You're supposed to get bone meal out of that. Okay, well, I turned it into compost. I can do no more. I can see that carrot, it takes way more carrots than it does uh, cake, though. Cake goes up each one. Okay, well, I turned it into compost. Didn't even give me bone meal. <laughs> Ah, oh, I feel, feel sad about that. Okay, I don't know why it didn't give me bone meal, but I, you know what? Challenge complete. I did what I could. I did what I could. I don't know what else I could have done there. Okay, um, let's go grab ourselves. Uh, I probably am going to sleep, actually, because I don't want to do that. But let's grab the reward fish first, all right? Challenge complete. That was a, uh, a challenge and a half. Crafting 10 cakes. Harder than it looks, it has to be said. Way harder than you'd, uh, than you'd think it is, wouldn't it? So, 
Uh, let's go, yeah, go to bed, okay, and then in the morning, we're going to get on with, like, the actual episode. Yeah, the challenge seems to be, could have been an entire episode, it feels like, but what we're going to do is, we're going to grab some stuff out of here. We're going to do a, a raid, but we're going to do one on hard mode, okay, so I, I, all the other raids I've done have been on easy mode, okay, so you only get three waves on easy mode, all right, you get, you get, a, yeah, you just get three, three waves of attacks, where on hard mode, you get seven, and they're a bit bigger and stuff, so I thought, you know what, let's, let's do a really tough raid, okay, how, how are we doing for iron in here, by the way, uh, let's have a look, um, okay, we, we can actually make some stuff, so I'm going to craft myself a few, uh, I'm going to craft myself some iron armor, because I want to make it a challenge, all right, I want to, do I not have a crafting table, there we go, I want to, yeah, make this a real challenge, this raid, okay, so I'm feeling the best way to do that is going to be to give myself a, a true challenge of a raid, okay? I, I, I could make an iron sword. You know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make myself a... Uh, let's go and chuck these in here. I'll, I'll just take the diamond sword. I think it's just going to be quick. I'll just take this this plain Jane diamond sword. How about that, okay? So, yeah, just, just to make this more challenging. Not wearing my good armor. I will bring, like, some emergency stuff, okay? So, do we have... I think we have, a, like, an enchanted gold armor. You know, in case things go, like, incredibly pear-shaped and I'm going to die or something like that. I've got myself a few golden apples, okay? Uh, I didn't know I had firework rockets in there. Anyway, um, we're going to go and grab these firework rockets and my elytra so we can fly over there. Okay, and yeah, the... Uh, I think that's everything we're going to need, isn't it? I've even got a reward fish. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? So, the... Uh, the, 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 the I'm going to first need, obviously, the bad omen effect, which the nearest pillar drought post is... Like, I found one, and it's like 2,000 blocks in this direction. So, it is, it is a bit of a, a flight. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Fly over there, meet you guys there, and then we can get the bad omen effect, and then we can attack a village. Well, we can we can bring that bad uh, bad times onto the village, and then we, we can save it, basically. Okay, we are now getting very close to the pillar drop post. In fact, we can just see it right there, okay? There it is, up ahead. So, we'll go ahead and dive down, all right, and we'll sneak in from the top. They'll never see it coming. Look at it, they literally can't see it coming, so we'll also probably switch out into this armor, okay? I remember, I am on hard mode, so I have got to be careful against these guys. Oh, they've trapped an iron golem as well, the, uh, the crazy people. Okay, here we go. We're going in in three, two, one. Attack! That's it. Go on, get out of here. Got him. Nice. Okay, bad omen effect, but we're going to take out you as well, Mr. Pillager. All right, you know what? They do deal some damage. There is always a chance that things could go a little bit south for me in, uh, in this episode. I didn't bring a bow because, like, you know, I'm, I'm tough. I don't need a bow. So, we're going to go and put my elytra back on. Okay, and we're going to go and ruin a villager's day, basically. <laughs> so, let's go. Oh, there's one over there as well. Okay, you know, we're going to leave the golem to be trapped. I th no, we're not. You know what? Oh, 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 I've made a mistake here. Okay, I've got to get rid of you quickly because I haven't got my, 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 uh, my chest plate on. Okay, let's, let's, let's free him. And then he can like... Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Golden apple. Okay, got it. Nice. There's two of them. Okay, this is, this is why, you see, I need my best skill here. Okay. Good job I got the gap out. Whoa, look at this. Okay, now now things are getting a bit hairy, okay? This is this is what happens when SP plays on hard mode. This is why he doesn't normally play on hard mode. Okay, get him, golems. Huh. That, that, that was exciting. Okay, <laughs> I think I already took them all out. Okay, sometimes when you're in hard mode, with that, I, I may need my good arm. I feel like, I felt like it would be too easy with my good armor, so I went like, here we go, he's off. All right, great. Uh, I felt like it would be too easy with my good armor, so that's why I went for the... The, the, the bad armor, uh, the iron armor, but maybe that's a, a little bit risky. <laughs> I do have all my good stuff, should uh, things go wrong, though, okay? So we don't have to worry too much uh, about that. So let's go and um, start a raid. I, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get a sinking feeling that I'm going to need my good armor, actually. The more I think about it, yeah, it's it's starting to look kind of likely, isn't it, that um, I'm going to need it. So the village is not really that far from my house, so um, let's just... Yeah, we can fly over that. I, you know what? I'm going to... Let's, let's, let's be brave about it. Let's not be stupid about this, okay? I mean, still hard mode. Hard mode is meant to be hard for a reason. Even with good armor, it should still be a challenge. I won't use my super OP sword, though, okay? Um, it's just, I can take one at once, but if you're taking on, like, five of them, then it does become a bit of a problem. But we'll, we'll see what happens anyway. We'll, we'll shall see, okay? Why, why is there, like, a random pathway? That village tried to generate, but didn't generate. Okay, poor, poor village. Um, let's carry on over here. So, yeah, the, uh, the tiger village is just, like, in... Pretty much just this direction now, I think. So we'll just we'll just kind of fly. Maybe a little bit of right hand turning in there as well, but nothing uh, nothing crazy. In fact, let's yes, yeah, go along it. Okay, there is a village there. Should we should we just do that? I don't think this was the one I was going to go to, but why not? 
This is the village I, I think it should be. Okay, right, we're going. We're going for it, all right? Village, prepare to be raided. <laughs> right, okay. Let's do this, all right? Come on then, pillagers. Bring it on. Where are you going to come from? This is actually a really good village. This, I'm, you know what? I feel bad. <laughs> this village looks amazing. It's massive. It's looking like a thriving village. It's got... Oh, it looks fantastic, does this village. I'll be honest with you. Hey, there's, there's a raid going on. Get to work. Come on. I'm going to have to steal your bread, mate. I'm sorry. I have a crossbow in return, all right? There's a, there's a raid happening, okay? Got to have my uh, pre... <laughs> Where's my fish? My, my pre-battle fish. Okay, something's probably going on somewhere, and I'm not even helping. Okay. Where are these... Uh, where are these pillagers at then? They'll be here somewhere, no doubt. Okay, and we've got we've got seven waves to deal with. Okay, so this is going to be quite a um, quite an ordeal, really, isn't it? Okay, seven waves of attack. Okay, is, are they over there? Or is that just a cow? It's just a cow. Okay. Um, thing is, they sort of could be in the village and you just don't see them, or they could be in. Sometimes they're like in water, or they're trying to get across and stuff, and um, you can't see them that way either. I don't, I don't know where these raiders are coming from. Come on, you call this a raid? This is a, this is a second class raid if you ask me. Okay, so you haven't even got here yet. Okay, yeah, but this village is definitely under attack. I, I do not know. Oh, there they are. Okay, they've been spotted through the water. Very sneaky. Okay, let's um, go and tell this. Okay, right, let's go and see how we go. So, it should tell me how many are remaining. We've got one guy over here. All right, Gollum. Ah, oh, you don't stand a chance. Okay, well, Gollum, you, you got him. Nice. <laughs> do I need to be here? Okay, um, let's just go and get rid of you. Perfect. Okay, two mobs in this first wave remaining. We can see them both as well. Okay, hopefully all the villagers are going to be all right. That's you sorted. Okay, let me get your emeralds. Don't mind if I do. You know, I want to get something back from me. Uh, from me. This is probably like the best way to get emeralds is um, is doing this. Okay, look at this guy. He doesn't stand a chance. Are you crazy? I say I want the XP though. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Wave number two is on the way. Are, are you okay in here, sir? It's all right. There's grass between you and the door. You'll be all right. Sir, are you all right in there? You look very, um... You look all right, to be honest. I <laughs> don't look that scary. Although your house could do with a bit of maintenance, if you ask me. Anyway, right, where is, uh... Wave number two going to come from? So, it doesn't usually come from the same place, does it? So it's not over here, I don't think. Oh, 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 okay. Well, <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> oh, no, they've taken out the golem. Meanwhile, as I just turn around and just see that they're attacking this guy. You get out of here. Come on, that's it. Shoot. Okay. I, I, out of the village. Oh, they can get up there as well. Or can they? That's it. Come back down here and fight. Oh, wow. The golem did do a lot of damage to him. Okay. And there's that guy sneaking around the back over here. Don't think I didn't see you. This village is so big, isn't it? It's like hard to see everybody. They've got a little uh, round the back crop plantation. Okay. This way. To be honest, this has been, this has been too easy, actually. Let's, I mean, I know I don't have the golem now, but let's risk it all. Why not? Oh, they give me some boots. Okay, well, projectile protection, why not? You know, they are throwing uh, arrows at me, so let's just go for it, okay? <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't have a golem now to help us, so that could cause a few problems, but other than that, we're, we should be all right. There should be more than one golem here anyway. It's a giant village. You would have thought, you would have thought, wouldn't you? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just a case of looking for where they uh, come in from. I think, yeah, it can be any side, although both of them seem to be from a, a similar edge, so let's go and assume that it might be over here. Let's go and have a little wander over. Um, yeah, we've got to look, because obviously this has the, the Ravager in it. We don't want uh, the Ravagers to take out the entire village before I find out that they're actually here. So, we're going to be careful. Okay, so from the fact that I haven't seen them yet, I'm going to assume that they're coming through the water this time. It just makes sense, doesn't it, that, uh, that that'll be uh, what's happening, because they're taking about six million years to get. Okay, I should probably eat as well. So, oh, there they are. Okay, we've seen them over there. Oh, they're in. The ra look at the Ravager. You know what? I've got to take him first. Okay. If I, okay, you know, I'm going to have to take you guys. You guys are causing problems, aren't you? Okay. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Hard mode. <laughs> Is this all you got? I'm only in iron armor. All right, we've got you perfect. Uh, all right, Ravager. Keep me distance because I tell you what, you pack a punch. I know you do. And you take some taken out as well. I think, yeah, because so we're on hard mode, there should be more waves yet, though. Okay. Let's have a look. There we go. Got him. Perfect. All right, Ravager taken down. Where's the final guy? Stop terrorizing the village. Oh, no, it's getting dark as well. Okay. That's it. Cat, get him. Okay, the cat did nothing. Nice work. Okay. Um, right, we've got a bed we can sleep in, by any chance. Hello. Don't mind me. Just uh, sleeping in your bed, good sirs. It's a family here. Hello. <laughs> Father and son hiding it. Just don't go out, all right? Just stay inside, okay? It's not safe out there, all right? It, th there is a raid. I should really ring the bell, shouldn't I? Okay. Warning, everybody. Warning. There is a raid. Stations, everybody. I think you were all well aware that there was a raid. But, um, okay, you went outside. You did exactly what I told you not to do, baby villagers. Actually, they don't attack baby villagers. So that's all right. Okay, so this is this is the new wave. I've never done this wave before. It starts with, the, it has witches in it. So, I've got to be quite careful here. 
Okay, this guy does, hasn't thrown poison at me first. Once I get poison, I'm in trouble, you see. So, let's get rid of you. All right, I don't know if the witches actually attack villagers or not. That's a good question, isn't it? Or do they just, like, join the troops? Okay, you're, you're, you're here. Okay, that's it. Drink your health potions. That's it. Just, just drink those. Don't don't bother messing about with else. Just drink those. Okay. Where's the final mob, then? I'll tell you what. We've had it. We've had an, a, an escaped mob. He snuck in. I don't know where he was. <laughs> I, I don't see him. Is he in? Oh, he's here. Hey, I see you now. That's it. You found me, or I found you. One of us found the other. Got you. All right, perfect. <laughs> he stuck straight through my defenses. Okay. Raid, uh, wave number five is about to begin. You know, I spent way too long doing the challenge at the start of this episode. <laughs> this uh, raid is obviously going on for a bit, but it makes it quite exciting. You know, a, a, a seven wave raid. You know, a three one, it's super easy, really, isn't it? It's almost like hardly worth bothering, but this, this is exciting stuff, isn't it? Okay, here we go. All right, what have we got here? We've got, oh, we've got you guys. Oh, he's got crocodile teeth out. Okay, let's get rid of, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Eat that. Yep, yeah, that, that, that really could have gone very, very bad, very, very fast. Okay, let's just, um, let's just, yeah. <laughs> That's why I brought the enchanted golden apple, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're switching into the armor, okay? All right, because these guys are quite powerful. Look, he's riding it and everything, okay? That's it, right. Okay, so if I take out this, okay, oh my goodness, oh, there's two of them as well, my word, you get out of here, you, go on, okay, can we, can we take it, oh no, there's two of them, oh, okay, this is, this is actually where it starts getting hard, these, uh, these end, uh, these end waves, what's this, wa wave number five, I think, yeah, only wave number five, and already I'm, uh, I almost died on wave number five, <laughs> just saw my health, so, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, put on my good armor now, all right, no more messing about, because I'll tell you what, when there's, like six of those powerful beasts on you, okay? Powerful brutes. You want to be careful, okay? What's going on over here? We've got these little, uh, oh, the evoker's causing problems. He is, he's wreaking havoc and he can go through walls as well. Okay, you get out of here, all right? Oh, that's right. Oh, look at him. He's a runner. You missed. <laughs> I have some speed. Oh, we got a totem of undying out of this. Well, that's something, isn't it? Should we just put it in our offhand? There we go. Job done. All right, we've got you guys, but you don't count as mobs, I don't think. Um, there is one more somewhere around here then, but I don't know what, I, I don't think, I don't think they class as anything, okay? So I'm going to lead them and search for the final, because obviously I had a lot uh, hunt me down over here. They did follow me, but I don't, yeah, I don't know where, we, we just got one mob hiding in this, that was, I mean, that was a dangerous thing. I, I think it's probably... Going to be that's say that's a really easy way to get a top of undying now that I think about it doing raids because <laughs> it's probably easier to find that than a woodland mansion. Anyway, here we go, we found him. Okay. Get out of here, you perfect. Four emeralds. How many emeralds? 26 emeralds. Makes the uh, the raid worthwhile. So this is wave number six. Okay, we still got these fellas around here. We'll just uh, we'll get rid of these little vexes. Come on then. Any more? Yeah, you're all the way up here. You're a lost cause, are you? Should we try and reach him? Um but there we go. Oh, I actually hit him. I didn't think that was gonna happen. He's going very high, isn't he? Oh, we got him again. Look at that, I just don't miss. Okay. What's going on here? This guy's just floating through the floor. So, yeah, we have another wave on the way. Um, we're going to have to eat some food quickly and be very careful. It, to be honest, these new vexes might get controlled by, like, a new uh, vindicator that, that shows up. So, we have to be a bit careful about that. Okay, so I don't see any over here. All right, let's go maybe over this way. Just see if we can find him. Okay, just just do a, a basically a, a quick uh, span thing. To be honest... Normally, you can probably use it through your, your, your hearing, but I, I can actually hear the game audio right now, so um, that's why I can't, like, hear them blowing the horn as they attack, so if, you know, you guys could probably hear and be like, yeah, I could hear them over that side. Okay, right, let's look okay, at chanted iron axes as well. Oh, that's it. I've got the low ground. That's right. You don't stand a chance, mate. Low ground warrior right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go and go up here. There must be more of it. No, wait. No, it wasn't. I thought that was a wave then, but there's still many more. Oh, you want to use a crocodile teeth? Nice try, mate. It won't work. You're lucky you landed in water, to be honest. Okay, another totem of undying. I'll have that. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Thanks for dropping back. Oh, wow, an enchanted uh, crossbow. What have we got in it? Uh, uh, back up. You want to fight? Man, look at him. Like, red all over him. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kind of want that enchanted crossbow. Let's uh, go and clear out some space. Okay. Uh, we got that, and we got that. What did it have in it? Ooh, not bad, you know. Bit of quick charge, bit of piercing. I like to see. Anyway, there is uh, still mobs raiding the villagers. I'm, I'm just doing my weekly uh, weekly shopping, aren't I, here, really? Um, the hard thing about it is finding these mobs now. 
Okay, we've got a, a bit of emeralds down there, so we'll grab that. Okay, there they are. I'm surprised this village is still alive. As long as these guys stay inside, they should be all right, to be honest. Um, I, I, I feel like, okay, we've got two mobs remaining. Yeah, I feel like I'm, like, going to run out of um, <laughs> this sword at this rate. It's a diamond sword. You would have thought it'd last a while. So. Um, let's have a look. What have we got in here? Oh, a bit of bread. Why not? Okay, we, we, we can't put the bread in. We actually chucked some bread away just now, didn't we? Okay, where where are the rest of these mobs, then? Um, I would have thought that there would be a Ravager on this uh, on this wave, wouldn't you? Okay, we've got this guy here. He's got some, uh, he's just a normal guy. There we go. What are you doing? You're useless. Oh, and we've got another one over it. All right, you're the final one. Job done. Okay, is, is that every? Okay, last wave now, okay? This is the big one. SB versus the world. The final attack, the final wave, okay? I wish you guys would get out of here as well. You're a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. I missed that time. I couldn't make it three for three. All right, where's this final wave? I've got to be ready for him as soon as they attack, okay? We do see a, a little Vex over there, but I don't think he's anything to do with this uh, this wave. It's going to be on its way now. Okay, nothing over there. Don't see anything over this way. They might be coming through water, you see. So you've got to be prepared for everything, all right? I don't see them over there, so I'm just going to carry on scouting the perimeter. All right, don't, don't be scared, sir, all right, buddy? I've got this covered, okay? <laughs> He's not worried at all, is he? He knows that I know what I'm doing, okay? I tell you what, this has taken some time, especially it's like it's the finding them that's a bit tricky, but it has been, it's been quite a challenge, really. I mean, I couldn't do it all in iron armor. I, I reckon I could if I, if I, I tried, but I really just didn't want to die, you know, so. Um, <laughs> I didn't manage the whole thing. Okay, where is this wave? Okay, they, they probably snuck in, like, right beneath me nose, okay? Um, are they, are they, they must be, are they back over this way? <clears throat> I have done. Okay, there they are. All right. What have we got? Two ravagers. Okay, we've got a lot here to deal with. All right, let's just get rid of these first. Okay. Oh, look at this. Uh, is that all you got? Oh, wow. You're on top of it now, are you? Oh, well. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> He's absolutely powerful. As powerful as this guy. That's it. Well, not anymore. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? Should I just let me turn up and die and do its work? Because it's always funny. <laughs> That's it. Just get in there. That's right. Go crazy. All right, I think I've got him. I've, I think I've got you down and out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these ravagers. I should be taking these ravagers home, shouldn't I? Right, I want to grab you. Let's drop the... Oh, my God. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, we want that. Perfect. Right. Uh, whilst I was distracted, other mobs were getting in, weren't they? So we've got to go and find them. I think they walked around this way, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to be up here. They're in the village. They're, they're away. Look at them. They're terrorizing the poor village. Okay, right. You get out of here. Okay. There we go. I should probably eat a bit. Uh, we've got nothing over there. We've got an Enderman. What is the Enderman doing? Wait, Enderman set on fire now? I think the Enderman set himself on fire. I don't think that's anything to do with like Enderman actually. Oh my goodness, you poison me. Okay, now this, this is always where things go awkward. Getting poisoned. I don't know how. Twenty-seven seconds. I, you know, what I hate. They're just the worst mob, aren't they? They're just, they're just so annoying when they do that. Because now I'm, a, I'm a literal one tap for anything, uh, which is never, a, <laughs> never really a good sign, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so. Despite only being on half a heart and being... Oh, okay. You know what? I was going to say, despite being on half a heart, I'm going to risk attacking everything. Yeah, not a good idea. What we'll do is we'll go and hide inside like a uh, a clever person would. Yes. Okay. I do have the Totem of Undying, of course, but uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay. That is, it's worn off now. So let's just eat some some steak. We should regen pretty quickly now. Okay. Well, quick enough. Okay. I can take this. All right. With two hearts. Where's this fella? He's over it. Get out. What are you doing? Throwing crocodiles in there. I'll have less of that. All right. <laughs> Okay, we need to get rid of you. Oh, oh, he's vexed it up. Okay, don't you run now. Don't throw your vexes and run. Okay, there we go. Another total and die. Are you all right in here, sir? I'm glad I got to you in time. Blimey, that could have been uh, that could have been awkward, couldn't it? Are you all right in here? Let's have a look. Everybody seems to be okay, unless you had a friend in there. But man, they were throwing some stuff at you, weren't they? Okay, where's the um, where's the remaining two then? So there's two mobs around here. They're obviously doing uh, doing a bit of attacking. Elsewhere, it's, 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 I say it again, it's the finding them that's hard. <laughs> Look at him, look at you hiding it, it's you. Man, they, these are everywhere. I mean, I've got so many totems of them dying today. More than uh, what you'd get in a woodland mansion, that's for sure. Okay, so we got that guy. And just one left and then we will have completed the raid. And I tell you what, after, after something like this, it actually feels like you've done an epic battle. Like, you know, the three wave one, like I say, even the five wave. But this feels like I've been, well, I have been doing this for some time. And it feels like it has just been... Like an epic, epic raid, basically. You know, I've I've gone out there, and um, yeah, we've had it. We've had it. We've done well, I think. I mean, obviously, we nearly died once or twice today, but all in all, what an epic raid! This is going to be a long video, isn't it? Where's this last guy at? Just, just, 
<laughs> show yourself, please. I, uh, it's getting dark. You know what? If you won't show yourself, I'll go to sleep. Hey, buddy. I'm the guy that's saving your village, so yes, I'm going to use your bed. All right. <laughs> okay, see you later. Thanks very much, sir. All right. Oh, you're coming outside now. Have you got a job yet? Nope, still not got a job. The nitwits never get a job, do they? Um, yeah, still don't know where this guy's, uh, guy's at, actually. Is he? Yeah, I... It could be anywhere. It could be trapped in the well for all I know. He's not though, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would be funny if he was, wouldn't it? Um, I'm just going to keep doing the perimeter. I mean, obviously I see vexes around and stuff, but I don't think that's anything important. I think in hard mode that, like, uh, one of the uh, these raiders should be able to, like, break down doors, but I don't know what, what happened with that. You know, if I can't find the last, last this last guy, I can't complete the raid. <laughs> it's just going to be like the, the never-ending raid. This village will constantly be under attack for the rest of their poor lives. But, you know what, I'm going to... Well, I, I don't know. I really don't know where this last guy's at. Well, it took me a while, but I finally found him. He's down here, little guy. Stuck in the water, poor fella. Look at you. <laughs> oh, look at that oh, poor guy. Should we, um, should we hit him with our uh, with our fist? Let's, uh, let's do that. That's, what a way to go for him, eh? All right. That's ready. Let's even the odds, okay? You have an axe. I have this, okay? Nothing but my fist. And look at that. You don't stand a chance against me. I'm all over you. Look at that. Okay, now hitting you with a chest plate. Probably hurts a bit more. So I'm going to throw it back down, even though it doesn't hurt at all any different. And there we go. Taken down. I am now the hero of the village, which I think lasts forever whenever I go into this village, doesn't it? So okay, I think you're trapped down there. You're welcome. You're welcome, kind sir. Yes, I have saved your village. You have no traits for me. You're useless. I have we got any villagers that actually work in this village? Or are they just all like... Lazy villagers, basically. Seems like you're all lazy villagers. <laughs> any farmers? Anything any, anything that any of you do? Okay, you don't work either, do you? Nope. You, <laughs> you don't work. Okay, this is just a village of lazy villagers. There you go. We shall now name this the Lazy Village. What about you? Nope, you also don't have a job. Okay, get some jobs, you guys. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. It has uh, run over way longer than it was meant to be, but you know what? We had good fun. We uh, we took on an impossible raid, a very uh, well a raid on hard mode. Anyway, so that was um, that was really good. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.